guys, it's Hyper here, and welcome to some more Skyblock. Now, guys, the server literally just reset last night. I was actually kind of hoping I would be able to be on for, like, the grand opening of it or grand reveal. I don't really know what you want to call it. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't able to, but I just logged on about uh, 20 minutes ago, and I didn't even think to log on Skyblock. Uh, I've been on prison for the past few minutes, but... That, 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 none of that really matters. What matters is we're about to go ahead and actually join Skyblock for our first time. And uh, yeah, so this is literally going to be all new to me. Like sometimes what I'll do is I'll kind of check out the server before actually recording. But this is literally going to be all new to me. I'm so hyped for it. And uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and actually join Skyblock. No, not even going to do a countdown. Just going to straight up join it because I am excited to see this reset. And alright, look at that. Swagglicious MC has joined for the first time. As you can see, and uh, let me go ahead and slash fly. Uh, can I? Can I not? Okay, I guess I can't fly at spawn. But as you can see, this is a whole different spawn right here. Um, this actually looks quite nice. I honestly like this a lot. I, I'm assuming that's PVP down there. Now, uh, do I still have my elite rank? Okay, good, I do. Because sometimes, um. I'll actually, like, lose my rank. Well, that, that happened on prison one time. I just wanted to make sure I still had my rank. And, uh, yeah, so, um, let's actually kind of go. I, I just kind of want to explore spawn here a bit, see if there's anything interesting. It looks like, uh, there's some crates. They actually, I guess they added something new. I've never actually seen these before. Mob spawner crates. Those look like they're going to be a whole lot of fun. I don't know if you'd be able to really win those from, like, voting crates or if you would have to, um uh buy them from the store but yeah there's also i don't know what these were over here uh let me quickly go ahead and actually read what these were so these are kit crates so uh i can't actually see what's in them because it's coming soon i guess custom enchants okay that is actually pretty dope i honestly loved skyblock like so much better when it had custom enchants to be honest like literally custom enchants honestly were just amazing i was kind of sad when they removed them uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very hyped that they are actually coming back. But anyways, enough just like showing you guys around the lobby. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what's in the lobby. Now, let me just quickly go ahead into, into slash kit. Grab a mist kit. By the way, if you're wondering, uh, how I have mist kit, that's because, uh, well, okay, it's a long story. Let's just say I unlocked it from a crate, like, a few years ago. That's all I'm gonna say for now, because it's a little bit of a long story how I actually got this. But yeah, so... Now that we actually started off with, um, some, uh, decent tools, I mean, efficiency 2 on breaking 1 is not bad, let's actually go ahead and get ourselves an island, and look at this, they actually have a bunch of different new islands, this honestly looks pretty sick, so there's classic skyblock, skyblock thunder classic, uh, cl I think, is that the same thing? Oh no, classic skyblock, but with a thunder themed twist. That looks pretty cool. I, I might actually do that. There's also lightning, multi-island uh, set up with a built-in storm pillar, a medium-sized heavenly structure, ruins tower, a tower that's just been struck by lightning, and rain. The perfect island for a rainy day. I, I kind of want to go with the Skyblock Thunder one right here because I'm assuming each Skyblock server has like a different uh, theme to it. So Skyblock Fire would be like classic islands with a Skyblock Fire theme. Uh, but yeah, what's actually back here? I can't even see what's back there. Rest in peace, but let's just go ahead and actually create our islands. Alright, Skyblock Thunder Classic. I suppose that we don't like this, um, we can't always get a new one, but this actually looks pretty sick. I'm assuming this is like, um, either lightning or rain. I, I honestly can't tell, to be honest, but let's just go ahead. We still have fly. That's good. I always get scared, um, after resets that we don't have our commands, but it does look like... We actually do still have the slash fly command. We get our um, little welcome thing right over here. And okay, so uh, honestly, what do we want to do first? Like, uh, I honestly have no clue what we should even do first. I mean, what, I, what I'll sometimes do is I'll actually start off by building a little bit of a farm or a grinder or something. Or sometimes I'll just maybe, like, build a house for a bit of storage. I think that's what I'll actually might do. Just maybe a bit of a house, because I think I'd be able to make, like, a really nice quartz one to fit this theme here. Let's go into Slash Shop. Oh, uh, they actually added some new stuff to Slash Shop. So there's blocks, as always. Uh, did they increase the prices for blocks? I honestly can't really tell. Uh, back to categories. Decorations. Ooh, these, okay, no, these are, okay, I thought these were, like, custom decorations for a second. 
Uh, colors, okay, redstone brewing, food, PvP, ooh, what's in PvP? Oh, okay, so, so they finally, um, decreased the prices for god apples, I'm happy about that. Mob drops, okay, just, actually, let's see, what's the best mob drop here? Let me just quickly see, uh, I'm assuming IG's is still where it's at, but besides IG's, Blaze Rods, oh no, 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 I'm looking at the buy price, and why, I was looking at the buy price for a second, and I was like, this is actually really overpowered, but it looks like, uh, honestly, either Blaze Rods or Bones, to, if I'm gonna be honest here, tools, okay, just normal tools, spawners, and materials, how expensive are spawners, uh, I think, did they make them more expensive, I feel like they made them more expensive, I don't remember a cow spawner costing 75k, but alrighty guys, I decided to actually go ahead and slash vote, um, just because honestly, like, I think, I think we're gonna, we're, we're, we, we need some money to start off, that's, I'm just gonna put it at that, we got, we actually got 20k from voting, so yo, they actually made voting a lot more worthwhile, like before, you would get 1k for voting and a key, but I didn't actually get my keys. Also, you get 5 golden apples per vote now. You used to only get 1 golden, app per, uh, golden apple per vote. So, I don't think that's pretty cool, but let's just go ahead and uh, go back to spawn. Now, do we get a voting key or anything? I don't actually... I don't actually think... Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. There's uh, kits. They're still working on kits. Okay, I mean crates. So, uh, we're not actually going to be able to... Um, really get anything from, uh, crates or anything like that yet, which kind of sucks, but hey, we start off with 20k, what do we want to spend it on, let's go into slash shop, uh, first off, we're gonna need some chests, because we're definitely gonna need something for storage, and I just realized, I'm actually using, uh, my other PvP pack, I'm sorry, I'll, I'm gonna switch back next episode, I was meaning to switch back now, but, uh, I forgot, so, I apologize for that, let's just go ahead and see, um, how much is quartz? Did they finally... Okay, no, so quartz is still extreme... They made it even higher, what? It used to be like 6.5k a stack, now it's 7k? No, 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 that's not what I wanted at all. I thought... I, th I thought everyone wanted quartz to be lowered, and they just make it make it more expensive? I don't... I don't even know, man. But let's just see here. Uh, what do we honestly want to build it out of? Let's go ahead... No, that's dark oak wood. Uh, where's, where's normal oak wood? Um, let's actually go ahead and, I like, guess, buy... Uh, a few stacks of that, and I like how you can actually just buy it without it sending you back to the menu every time you click on something. That's honestly going to be pretty useful. Um, but let's see here. Is there, uh, we're going to want some glass, and yes, I'm sorry, I, I get it. Glass is invisible on my texture pack. This is going to be really annoying. I probably, I'm probably going to switch just to build the house because this is honestly more of like a PvP, uh, slash UHC pack, so, uh, I, I don't know, I'm probably not going to want to use this uh, when I'm building in the future. Okay, so I just switched packs. Glass is no longer invisible to us. Uh, thank God, honestly, because that was that would literally be impossible to build with uh, a pr pretty much invisible block. So, that literally just made us broke, guys. Like, literally, we are already broke. I think we might actually be able to buy, like, half a stack more of quartz, but, like, that's it. Let's just quickly go ahead and just buy, I guess, uh, another half stack. Can we even... Uh, you bought, wait, oh, no, there it is, okay, so we actually were able to afford that, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna make these all into, uh, whatever they're called, slabs first off, because this is basically gonna be, like, the base of my house, I'm gonna start it, like, going out here, I guess, that's a little too small, I guess I'll actually do it on this side, because the, over there it seems like it's gonna be way too small of a space, so let's do it over here where it's a bit longer so let me quickly get all this down now i might change this to normal quartz in the future although i honestly don't see the problem with using using slabs because one it's less expensive two from the top i mean you, you can't even tell the difference unless you have like some weird texture pack that uh makes it obvious that slabs are slabs and blocks are blocks i've honestly never heard of a te of such a texture pack um but if there is i'm sure there is one so yeah, I guess I'm sorry if you don't like me using slabs. But that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm 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 broke anyway, so I really can't um afford too much more than this. And all right, guys. So I I do think that's gonna be big enough. So let's just actually go ahead and get this going, Len. So I guess I'll start it right here. We probably don't want to build it too tall. Actually, no. I'm gonna start it um a little further this way, just in case we ever um. Uh, make it a bit taller because otherwise we're gonna just like run into this and I'll have to break it And I also think this actually looks pretty cool. So I don't want to have to break it. Well, let's just go ahead 
head on down here, build three up. Actually, I'm going to build four up because otherwise I won't even be able to jump and that's going to really annoy me. So let's just quickly go ahead, do this, and um, honestly, I might just actually use uh, whatever it's called, oak wood, to actually like make the house itself. As in, like I'm going to use this for the walls and everything because I honestly think oak wood looks pretty nice. Let's actually go ahead break these make it make them both sideways all right let's go ahead and also craft uh some glass panes first of all and uh yeah so let's quickly is it like this okay i always forget if it's like um sideways like that what i just did or if it's uh diagonal um like the other way which was the right way so i i don't know it just kind of confuses me sometimes let's just go ahead and actually add these here uh, let's go ahead and build up a bit here. Now, I honestly don't know how I'm gonna do the roof of this thing, since literally I'm probably gonna honestly run out of blocks, and since I have no money, I won't really be able to buy anything, etc, etc. But hopefully we do actually, or we are actually able to finish this without, um, running too low on blocks, because I'd honestly like to have some extra wood for chests, which is honestly kind of the whole point of this. Also, I just realized, I also need a door for this house, otherwise we won't be able to even get in. And uh, actually, we have plenty of wood. I don't think we're going to run out at all. Never mind. I didn't know we actually had that much. I don't know why I crafted 30 doors either. I don't know who would need that many doors, but it is what it is. Is that the middle? Uh, yeah, that is the middle, so let's quickly go ahead, throw that back up there, start building up here. Let's do two sideways like that, and, um this i guess or should we do windows here yeah i'm gonna do windows here just because i do think that'll make it look a bit nicer so there we go let's run on down here uh wait okay no i need to do this right here i got confused for a second because i forgot that i actually built this right here let's go ahead break this get all of this down and all right now honestly all we need to do oh wait hold up i almost forgot the window over here now honestly yeah, all we need to do is uh, go ahead, add the roof. I might do this off cam because it's probably going to take um, a little while to figure out how I actually want to do it. And alrighty guys, here's what it ended up looking like. I decided just to do a flat roof out of wood just like everything else. I honestly think it looks pretty decent. Uh, we almost forgot a window here. Um, For a house that was built honestly on a really tight budget. Like literally... All I started off with was the money that I got from voting, but we were actually able to build a pretty decent house from this. So let's just go ahead and get these down. Uh, I'm going to throw everything in here. Actually, I just forgot. We actually have slash kid elite 2, which would have started us off um, with some blocks. Actually, um, what I'm going to do with these, should I should I sell these or should I? Nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these in here uh, just for island levels for now. And uh, yeah, so... That's the house, I guess. Let's also quickly actually grab our elite kit and uh, put that in here as well. There we go, guys. So, honestly, we can't really build much else this episode. In between episodes, I will definitely vote every day, first off, to get some more money. Uh, I'm probably going to try building like a grinder or a farm, something to give me some steady income by next episode. But yeah. And also, guys, if you want to join my islands, comment down below. Basically, I was thinking about doing something like this. Introducing somebody new every single episode. So just comment your IGN down below. And uh, this isn't going to be like something random where I like uh, pick a random name in the comments. What I'm going to do is just like choose people I trust or people who I think can be a major help to the islands. All that. And I think the islands team is still a maximum of 10. So if you want to join... Comment down below. I might do one, uh, more than one person per episode because otherwise it's going to take forever to fill up the island. But anyways, that is going to have to do it for today's episode of Skyblock. If you're hyped for 7.0, just just smash that like button. Make this video get 10,000 likes on it. Not just kidding. Yeah. Share this video with your friends as always. Don't forget to do that, guys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.